It's a beautiful, crisp fall day just outside of Westby. Carter Quartz getting dressed. A perfect day for a hunt. We're going to have a great pheasant hunt today. Over the years, father and son Tom Hutchison and Philip Schroeder have had a lot of days like these. It's just time that we get out and we can actually talk and just about anything. I mean, we just spend time together, you know, laugh about stuff. We bring up, bring up old memories and, you know, the fun things that we've done. Some of the fun things that we probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> Didn't even let me get a shot, did he? A lot of <laughs> good times, memories more than anything. You aren't going to hit me with a snowball, are you? You know, we just laugh. <laughs> That's the fun of it. We have a lot more fun than we actually do hunting. That's three for three. So it's an extremely special day where you get to be out with your boy and enjoy the Mother Nature. And if you get lucky enough to get some game, that's great. That's the bonus. The rest of it is why you go. It's a pastime that, like so many fathers and sons, has bonded them together. Not only are we father and son, we're good, the best friends. And that's, you know, if I had to pick my best friend, Philip would be my best friend. But this hunt is a little different than most, because this hunt could very well be their last. Memorial weekend was when all this happened. Um, six years ago. He was on his way over to our house and he was supposed to be there at like 7, 8 o'clock in the morning and he showed up at 10, 11 o'clock, which isn't like him, but of course they said, so how did your alarm clock not go off this morning? I turned around and looked at him and he was kind of a gray color. And he said, I think I got the flu. I went to see the doctor and they did a bunch of blood work. And the doctor came in and he says that he didn't know how to tell me, but I have leukemia. And he wa my wife was sitting there and I was sitting there and he walks out the door. And I look at her and she looks at me and said, what did he say? I said, well, he said, I think he said I, had I have leukemia. What was that like hearing that diagnosis? scary. I mean, he, we knew absolutely nothing about leukemia. I mean, to this day, I still don't know exactly the leukemia he has. I just know that there isn't any of it that's good. They pretty much gave me three weeks back then. But Tom wasn't about to go down without a fight. The doctors all came in and says, well, what do you, what do you want us to do? And I said, well, we can treat it aggressively or we can treat it, just treat it. And I said, either cure me or kill me, but do something. They immediately started a rigorous round of treatment and somehow, remarkably. About two months later, I, they did a bone marrow biopsy and it was clean. And then, you know, like a, bad penny and come back and and it just wouldn't go away. The second time around, Tom was given three months to live. That was almost two years ago. But even so, he knows his days are numbered. I hope there's a few more days left because I got things to do. It used to be a lot of days, now it's a few more days, so. You ready? Yeah. Which makes today's hunt that much more meaningful. Because for a man battling leukemia, hunting isn't as easy as it used to be. That's where an organization called NASA, the North American Squirrel Association, is helping make this possible. What our mission statement is, is to help elderly and disabled and youth uh, recreate. Free of charge, NASA organizes every aspect of this hunt and others like it, the guide, the dogs, even the special transportation when Tom needs a hand getting around. We have uh, fellows that haven't hunted for 20 years because of the disability and we get them out here hunting. It really is amazing to see the fun in their eyes and the glimmer in their eyes. Is this fun or what? Huh? It is fun. 
I get to look at it as another hunt that I get to do with my father. It's time I get to spend with him. Every hunting trip is important that we uh, spend time together because you never know it might be the last time you get to do it. Every night I say a little prayer and thank the Lord for the good day I had, no matter if it's raining, no matter if I've gone through chemo and I don't feel too good, it's a good day. And I just pray for more good days. And today, with his boy by his side, was one more very good day. In Westby with photographer Kirk Arneson, Jennifer Livingston, News 8.